Today we're going to be replacing the left hand rail cylinder on this lift behind me. Uh, we were out here about a week or so ago doing some service work to it. I happened to notice that it was leaking. Uh, notified the customer and he opted to go ahead and get that replaced. So we'd ordered the seals and uh, now we're back to do the job. So if you look on the left hand side, this thing right here, that's your rail cylinder. So, and if we look in here, see how the top of that cylinder is wet? Yeah, that's because that packing seal is going bad. So we are going to uh, get that fixed. All right, let's get started. To start off, we're gonna block the mast up and uh, I'm gonna show you what to do from there. Okay, so now we're on the other side of the truck. Um, the reason that we blocked the mast in the stage that we blocked it was so we can slack this chain to be able to knock this roll pin out right here. So we're gonna knock that out. She's out. Now that the roll pin's out, we need to raise it back up and block the other stage of the mast. So blocking the other part of the mast allows us to take, release the hydraulic pressure off that cylinder and that cylinder will drop all the way. Just like that. And then the rest of the mast will stay up in the air. So after looking at this for a minute, I think I'm just going to do this inside the truck. I'm not going to take the cylinder out. Um, just replacing the packing seals. The only problem with doing this in the truck is I don't have a wrench that will fit in here and allow me to turn that gland nut. So typically what I do and a bunch of other people do is we just knock them loose with a uh, uh, hammer and a chisel. Um, not optimal but uh, it works let's get started knocking that loose okay here we go All right, it's starting to loosen up pretty good. I'm gonna try something. All right, it's off. So now we're just gonna slide the gland nut. Oh, no, it's not off. There it goes. Up over top. The packing seal for this isn't in the gland nut. It is actually just sits down in here. Hopefully it's close where I can pick it out. And it is. It's sitting right there. Okay, so I have an idea. It's going to be messy. <laughs> Did you see that? That was pretty cool. Now I'm just holding the down lever, holding it down, trying to 
drain as much of the fluid out of that cylinder as I can so whenever I take the rest of it off it's not going to make a huge mess. Okay, let's see what it's going to take to get that out. So typically when those cylinders start leaking from out around the top of the cylinder, it's this seal right here that's gone bad. This seal just protects the threads, I think, keeps it from leaking out of the cap off the sides. But this one is the one that the cylinder ram rides on. Um, yep, yeah, so... These are the seals that uh, we got to get replaced here. Let's uh, let's get started on that. Here's the seal kit. It's got everything we need. The one thing I did notice is it looks like I'm missing one of my picks, but we should be able to get it done with what I've got here. So we're going to start. We're going to pull the wiper seal out. I just make sure your uh, your ram's clean whenever it goes back down in the cylinder. That's about all that one does. I'm just going to clean the inside of it a little bit here. Run a screwdriver around. get any debris out then reinstall the wiper seal the new one that's done let's do this done
will break clean. All right, let's get this bad boy reinstalled. We're going to take this bleeder out so that thing can breathe a little bit and slide in there. 